2021. How are you doing? I hope everybody is doing okay. I hope you had a lovely new year, a lovely Christmas. I have just filmed this intro on the wrong setting. I just completely forgot what I'm doing, haven't I? <laughs> I've not been in here for a while, so sorry about that. Um, I'll try and tell you everything that I've just told myself. Um, hi, welcome. I hope you're doing all right. I'm back in the studio. It's Monday the 4th of Jan and it's my first day back. I'm not, I've popped in here um, to do a bit of tidying up, take down the tree, etc. But I haven't been in here working for about two weeks. So I am very excited to be here. First day back, it's almost nine o'clock in the morning. So uh, it's an early start for me, but like all Mondays, um, Luca is at nursery. So I've got all day to work and we'll see how the day goes. I'm really excited I've got so much to get done and I don't know where to start really I need to put together a to-do list of things I need to do but I'm really excited I'm so excited for this year thank you for being here thanks for watching thank you if you watch studio vlogmas it didn't actually go how I planned it to go and I had to stop um but I had a very poorly boy so there was no way I was going to carry on and spend time away from him when he was poorly so that was that. Maybe I'll try again next year. Maybe I won't. It was really hard. <laughs> Studio Vlogmas was very hard. And I can put together some tips for you if you're thinking of doing it next year. But what I will say is start planning it now because yeah, it's a lot of work. What do I need to tell you? Uh, not much really. I haven't drawn anything for a while. Um, I haven't done anything for a while. I have so many orders to do. So thank you so much if you placed an order over Christmas. I need to do those at some point today. Um, but I'm gonna start off my day by drawing because one of my goals for the year, and it was my goal for last year, but I just didn't do it, was to draw more. And I've been thinking about how I can do it. When I come in in the morning, instead of jumping on admin tasks and jumping on orders and all of those things that by the end of the day I'm still doing, I'm gonna come in and do something creative. I'm gonna draw. And then I'll move on to the admin tasks in the afternoon. I think that'll be good to do. So yeah, let's just get into it. It's gonna be a very busy vlog. I need to do a to-do list. And then I'm gonna start drawing. Let's leave the past behind Walk with me There's something else we need to find Say you'll go, don't make me wait There's no need to So it's now 10 to 12 and I've actually drawn something. Can you see? I don't know. Um, so over Christmas, I kind of binged watch a show on Netflix called Bridgerton. I don't know if anyone else has watched it. If you've watched it, let me know below. I absolutely loved it. I loved the music. I loved the costumes. I loved the characters. I just thought it was great. Um, and as soon as I watched it, I was like, I need to illustrate something from this show. So that's what I've done. I've illustrated Daphne, the main character. 
Um, and I'm glad I've done that. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to make that this month's wallpaper on Patreon. I need to do that. And then I am going to put a free sticker in everybody's order from Christmas. I think I'll make that the sticker as well. So I'm going to have some lunch. Matt's just popped by the office to drop me off some lunch. So I'll see what he's bought me. I'm going to eat that and then I'm going to get the wallpapers done and we'll start making some stickers. I need to see how many orders I've got, but I reckon I need to make maybe a hundred stickers. So that should be fun. We'll get that going. Let's see, what time are we on? Nearly 12 o'clock. I'm gonna start on some orders. Down the road, there's sunshine and light. Say you go, don't make me So those are printing and they look pretty good. So I've managed to get eight on a sheet. So I just need to print off another 10 sheets. I think I think I had eight, a hundred orders maybe. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I might have to print some more off. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with those. So the next thing on my list while those are being made is, um, oh, I might show you some things that I've got. So I've had a couple of packages come and I've had some stationery that I got for Christmas so I thought I would show you what I got because it's interesting is it I love seeing stationery so um hopefully you like it too okay <laughs> I'm back um the printer's just gonna print some off while I show you this um so I've had two packages arrive both of them are kickstarters I got them over Christmas but I didn't want to open them at home I wanted to wait until I was back in here and both of them are from wonderful people both are patrons of mine they're both doing amazingly well um they've both done enamel pin kickstarters which I wanted to help back so the first one is Rebel Jones design so thank you very much for sending me that the pin oh so you also get a sticker and a little patch which is quite nice and then the actual pin is in here oh so lovely so well done to rebecca for getting this pin made on her kickstarter i know how important it was um to get your first pin so thank you so much for that that's the first one and then this one is from the wonderful Gemma um, who I've chatted about before so Gemma um, again another one of my patrons great support to me um, I think she's got a little bit of everything in my shop <laughs> so when she decided to do her first enamel pink Kickstarter I um, I really want to support this so look how beautiful that is so lovely oh my gosh Gemma this is very fancy <laughs> oh my gosh I'm sure I only backed one pin but I think she sent me two another lovely sticker little focus um and matching print and bookmark she's definitely treated me here That's so kind of you um so this is the first pin they came out so beautifully. It says, together we can do anything. Really lovely. 
And then this one is so nice and it's such an important message which I strongly believe anyway. Oh wow, it's big. <laughs> and it is community over competition. Really beautiful. Well done to Gemma and to Rebecca for doing such wonderful first Kickstarters and pins. Um, I am very proud. So that's that. That's the little bit of happy mail that I got over Christmas. Oh, hang on, confetti everywhere. And then, okay, so I got some gorgeous stationery for Christmas. Not loads, just a few little bits, but I just thought I would show you. Um, so the first thing is mainly from my mum, because my mum knows to get me stationery. Um, so she got me a notebook. It's gone very bright in here, hasn't it? So she's bought me a notebook, um, and I love the animators collection. Um, I think it's so beautiful. Um, and it's all like gold lined pages. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's the first little bit of stationery that I got. The feel of it's gorgeous. I think she's bought all of this from the Disney store, I think. Next up is this, and it's a pen set, but it's a villain's pen set. Um, so like Maleficent, Ursula, I can't see what pen that one is. I think that's the apple from Snow White. So. Um, yeah, I really like those. I need to get them out and see what they're like. But again, I, from looking at the, she's left the prices on. <laughs> um, I think it's Disney Store she's got those from. Then I also got um, a set of pens. Uh, you can't go wrong with a set of pens. I don't actually have any of these type of pens, so I need to get them out and put them in a nice little pen pot. Um, yes, love those, again, from my mum. This, which I got from my dad, which is the script weekly planner um, and I think he got it me because it's all lilac inside um, but it's actually from Aldi well done dad so I've not got this out yet but um oh it says pen included as well so that's good I'll get that out and have a nosy but that was a lovely little present that I got and then two of my favorites so the first one I got this pen delightful isn't it um it's a lovely pen i've been using it this morning you might have seen it earlier um again this was from the disney store so months ago me and my mum went to the disney store and i saw this pen and i don't know why i didn't just buy it because it was only a couple of quid but a part of me was like no i don't need another pen <laughs> i obviously needed this pen and it turns out she went back the next day just to go and get it for me so that's so nice and then my absolute favorite gift which i'm so scared to use because i just want to keep it in pristine condition so if you if you've been with me for a while you'll know i did my magical things can happen collection last year and i illustrated over a photograph i'll leave it here of me holding the sleeping beauty book and it didn't look like a sleeping beauty book but i tried my best um and my mom has bought me <laughs> this gorgeous notebook. So it's basically a replica of the one in the film. Um, but each page is so beautiful with the little Sleeping Beauty on there. Um, so I've decided this is gonna be my Patreon planning book. Um, this is where I'm gonna take notes on our Zoom calls. It's where I'm gonna come up with ideas. Um, and it's just gonna be filled with Patreon bits. But I am too scared to use it at the minute, so I don't know when I'll start, but I absolutely love it. Again, this is Disney Store, so I will leave links to whatever I can find. They do different types of these books. Um, she went with Sleeping Beauty, I think, because of that drawing that I did, but um, yeah, I'll leave a link for it, but it's beautiful. So those are some Christmas presents that I got, some bits of stationery. You might have seen earlier my slippers. Hang on. So this was kind of my main gift of my mum. She got me some studio slippers. <laughs> um, and I'm a little bit obsessed. They're from Ugg. Again, I'll leave a link, but I think these are all sold out everywhere. I don't know when she got them. I don't know how she got them. But um, they're just perfection. And they're so comfy. So yeah. So there we go. I'm gonna get back to up doing some stickers now and I'll be with you once I've got loads of them done. 
I'm so messy. <laughs> I'm so messy when I'm trying to do loads of things on my own. Does anyone else just sort of like dump things everywhere? <sighs> anyway, it's a few hours later. Um, what time is it? 20 past three. I was doing orders, but I've had to change how I do it because I'm using click and drop now. So what I would do, I would go through my orders normally and print off the address labels as I'm doing it and just package them up. The difference now is what I have to do is import the package details and buy the postage online and print that off. So I'm trying to figure out at the minute the order in which I do things and with click and drop you can integrate things so like Etsy you can integrate it so all your orders are there and it's much easier However, they haven't done that with Wix yet. I use Wix. So I have to import every order. And now that we're out of the EU, I have to do the customs information for everybody as well. It's quite a lot. And if like on a normal day with normal orders, it'd be fine. But when you've got a hundred orders to do and you don't know what you're doing, which is the case for me, um, I'm having to learn quite a lot. So I have just been down to pick up my packages um and i've ordered myself a new label printer so this is what's going to happen let me just move all my things so i do have a label label printer i've chatted about it before and it's the brother uh this one um the problem with this is as wonderful as it is you can't print four by six labels which is what you need to put addresses on so i've had to buy another label printer i'm gonna get it out now get it all set up 
and I have packaged about 30 orders so I'm going to get the labels on them hopefully it works and if I like it I'll leave a link for it below um obviously don't want to recommend anything that I've not tried so um yeah let's get it open Okay, so my battery went on the camera, <laughs> but I've just, um, I got it all done. So I've got like maybe 40 orders done there, which is good, but it's not enough. I need to do them all tomorrow. My verdict on the label printer is, I love it. It was so good, so easy to set up. Literally just plugged it in, downloaded the driver and it worked. Um, yeah, it's brilliant. I absolutely love it. So. I will leave a link for it below. Label printers are quite expensive. Um, so this was kind of one of the cheapest options I could find um, that had great reviews. So there were cheaper options, but the reviews were great. So um, yeah, I'll leave a link for it below. Munbine is the name of the label printer. Um, so I've got those orders done, which means, oh, bloody hell, I did it wrong, hang on. Oh no, oh no. Oh my golly gosh, what have I done? Uh, oh no, I've done it right. I've done it right, what am I stressing about? Yes, I've done it right, okay, so that's good. <laughs> I don't know why I panicked then. I have 69 orders to left to do. Um, so it took me a really long time to do those 40 today. But I was trying to figure out how to use the software and set up the label printer, so I think tomorrow I will be much quicker at it. And I will get those done. I think I got most things ticked off my list today. Um, I did want to record a podcast, but it wasn't essential that I did that. So I think what I'm going to do is... What time is it? Yeah, I really need to go and get Luca from nursery. So it's nearly five o'clock here. I'm going to set up a to-do list for tomorrow. And then I was going to tidy up, but I think I'll just come in tomorrow and do that. So I'll catch you tomorrow. Hello, good morning, it's now Tuesday. I was looking forward to today and now I feel a bit oh, a meh. So, last night, if you're in the UK, you will know this. Boris announced another lockdown. Um, so, I wanted it to happen. I'm very happy it's happened, it needed to happen. But at the same time, I'm feeling really anxious um and unsure of what's gonna happen <laughs> um i chatted a little bit about it on my stories last night on instagram but um this lockdown's gonna be different i you know what it's like a mixture of things happening the first lockdown happened in march and to me it was a great time it was a great time because you know i got to be at home matt couldn't work so he was at home which wasn't great but um it meant I could work more. We were spending time together as a family. Um, and I I liked the first lockdown, won't lie to you. I thought it was very good. The difference with this one is I have this place and I'm very much torn on what I need to be doing to follow the rules and to be safe. Um, so what's gonna happen is, because I know there'll be people watching this who will question everything that I'm doing. Um, and I'm not perfect, <laughs> but I need to be safe. So what I'm gonna do is, the priority today is to get all of those existing orders out. I don't want any orders left outstanding by the end of the day. That's number one, because that's one thing I can't do from home. I have to do orders. So I think once all the orders are out today, I'm going to make it clear that orders will just be going out on 
a Monday and a Friday. I could come in on a Monday and on a Friday and do my orders. That's good. Everything else I think I could do from home. I can take my drawing tablet home. I could take this desk home. Um, and I think that's how I'm going to do it. But a few people messaged me to say that it's fine because I work here on my own and coming in here is no different to working at home. So I don't know what to do. Um, I don't think there's anybody on this floor in my building. I mean, there's only two offices that are, that are have people in them anyway. I think the one at the end, they'll, they'll, they will work from home. And I've not heard the guy next door for a while. Um, and the light, the light, I can see the lights off in the hallway, which means nobody's walking around. So that's good that it could only just be me on this floor. Um, so again, I don't have to interact with anybody. But yeah, I just wanted to make it clear because I don't want people to come on here thinking, oh, Emily's like not following rules. They're very confusing rules for people like me. So um, I'm just going to figure it out. But what I do know is I need to get them orders out. So that's priority today. The other thing is I'm feeling a bit sad because <laughs> today I was meant to be going to Disneyland Paris. Um, obviously it got cancelled, but I was so looking forward to that trip. Um, and like I would be on the plane now, so it's quite sad. So to honor that, I've put my Disneyland, like this is the outfit I was gonna wear to the airport. So um, I've put my Disneyland Paris top on. I've got my new um, Mickey earrings that my brother got me for Christmas. Um, and I might even put my ears on later. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling right now. But it's fine, it's all good. So I made a to-do list and I did this not knowing we were going into lockdown, so. The good thing is the top thing on there is package orders. Well, no, the top thing is podcast. I might record that. Record a podcast. Package orders. See, I've got a few polls that I want to put out on Patreon. Um, I want to see what Zoom call they want to chat about next week. I've got a few topics in mind. And then we're also starting another secret project. Um, I won't talk about it much on here because I know it's annoying. I know it's annoying if you're not a Patreon for me to be like, oh, we're working on this. Um, but that'll be really exciting so i want to start that off i'm gonna announce the new art challenge and i need to round up last month's art challenge entries i would also like to back up my computer today i should have done it over christmas definitely didn't so while i'm packaging orders i'll get the computer doing that i'm gonna record a podcast first get that done get that uploaded i'll package orders while backing up a computer and then i'll get everything else done So I've done my podcast, I've uploaded it, it's going live in two hours. Oh my god, my hands are freezing. So I'm just working my way through my list and there was a few things on there that were like Patreon posts, like polls and art challenge things. So I'm just um, doing all of those posts and scheduling them throughout the week. So that kind of takes one thing off me that they're all done. So I'll just finish doing that and then um, I can get on to packaging the orders. It's now 10 o'clock so I think we're doing good for time really i'm just coming up with some uh ideas for the zoom call next week and what i will um let my patrons decide what we want to chat about i'm gonna do that and then i ordered something on amazon yesterday which has arrived i'll show you what's come i i wanted something for my um when i'm packaging orders to film it um hang on let me just do this and i'll chat to you in a minute okay that post on sorry i tried to do two things at once and it just wasn't going to happen um my computer is backing up so that's good things are going well i uh, ordered something on amazon so let me show you the thought with this is i i film myself packaging orders for the vlogs and things um and doing it like this is fine like to do more TikTok and Reels packaging and ideally I wanted like a top down, it didn't cost me a lot and it could be disastrous but let's have a look. Okay so it's this, it's the cell phone desk stand. So the thought is I could clip it onto the side of a desk and film above. Now I don't think this even cost me 20 quid, could be really bad. So you get the arm okay that feels 
quite decent. Let's see. Okay, so you get this. Twist spindle clockwise to tighten. Okay, so I don't know where I would put it. Oh, it sounds better. Oh, I'm not sure about this, guys. So, there we go. I can kind of move this around. I don't think this is the best place for it. So, oh, hang on. Bob's ringing me. Hello. You're Neil Fish? Yeah, why? Oh, you said you were going to go a while, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, what were I saying? So, um, I do like this. I'm yet to put my phone in it and actually try it. Um, and maybe I need to move it even just to this side because I, because I move a lot over here to grab this. Having it on the right side is probably not the best. So I might put it on the end of this desk. Um, but I will try it out, let you know what I think. Um, and I'll leave a link for it below. I got it on Amazon and it was very cheap. So if you need something like that, then check that out. Okay, right, orders. Let's get started with orders. Hello, happy Wednesday. I'm sorry that the footage yesterday just stopped. I packaged orders and just didn't record. I don't know what happened there, I just completely forgot to record. Um, but I managed to get another 40 orders out, so that's very good. I'm here, it's Wednesday. I want to do a lot more orders. Um, however, it's my birthday today. I woke up um, to Luca and lovely cards, breakfast in bed, um, and it's been nice. Uh, so I didn't want to work today, but it doesn't really matter, does it, if I do a couple of hours. Um, I think Matt is doing something at home anyway. I think he wanted me out of the house, so I've come here to do some orders. That's the only thing I need to get done today. Um, and I realised when I was doing some orders yesterday that I don't have enough stickers in stock. So I think I'm going to spend the first hour restocking stickers and then I can get onto the orders that I have. But I've decided, because I was meant to be in Disneyland Paris, I'm going to wear some ears today. While I do my orders, these were gifted to me. So I will leave details below where you can get your hands on them. And I've got my trusty pen. I'm gonna get as many orders out as possible. Can I do them all? I think there's about 40 left to do. So we will see. I'm gonna work for maybe two hours. And then after that, I'm gonna head home um, and do as much as I can. So yeah, first job is stickers. Okay, I think I'm done for the day. It doesn't seem like much, but with me printing all the stickers, I've done maybe 15 orders there. So they're going to the post office now. I'm gonna go home and see what Matt has in store for this evening. Um, I will see you tomorrow for another day of packaging orders. I might end the vlog tomorrow if it's just gonna be another day of packaging orders, because I know that's really boring. But I wanna say, if you have ordered, I'm so sorry about the delay. I'm trying to get it all out as quick as quick as I can, but um, yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Hello, good morning, it's now Thursday. And I'm gonna end the video here, because I've just put all my, all my footage from this week into my editing software. And I have like two hours worth of footage, so. I think I need to stop now. <laughs> My evening was really good. I had a nice meal. I had a full bottle of wine. <laughs> we won't talk about that. Um, but I feel good today. I'm feeling good. 
I'm just going to be packaging orders today and I know some people like it but I feel like I've done a lot of packaging orders in this video already so I'm going to stop and not do any more. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this first week back. I'll be back next week for another weekly vlog and if you're on Patreon we have an exclusive vlog going up next week. I don't know what that will be yet but I will let you know. Come find me on Instagram if you're not following me already because I'm on there mainly. You'll find me there every day. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye guys.